Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we finished off the Fountain Dome by having our first match against Bowser in this game. And it was rather pathetically easy, may I add. And in this episode, we're going to be making our first visit to the Kitchen Dome, which is the third dome of the game. And if you walk into these stairways, there is a 1-up. There's a lot of secret 1-ups th located throughout the, um... Uh... Comet Observatory, so... We're going to make our way up the kitchen dome with these stairways that have a bunch of kitchen utensils on them. Quite uh, fitting, I suppose. And we're going to enter the kitchen dome. Yeah, it's probably the best way I could explain that. We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope they are not misusing the power of that poor Grand Star. Well, let's see. If you were if you were called an enemy base, would you misuse a power star? No, I think it's safe to say it's in good hands. So, let's, uh, do what we normally do and grab that star thing. Full star. And we will see that we have already four out of the five galaxies in this dome open. So, um, we're just gonna go in order of orbitals. Orbits, like, actually, I don't think orbitals are a real word. And we're gonna go to the first galaxy, which is Beach, Do Beach Bowl Galaxy. I, I pretty much don't have to. I'm not. I don't think I'm spoiling at all when I say just by the title that it is in fact a water level is our first one of the game. And again, I'm not a big fan of that myself, just like everyone else. So sunken treasure. Let's do this. Let's just get Beach Bowl over with because it's not one of my favorite galaxies of the game. Definitely not. And that's saying something because I love almost every galaxy in this game. I love. There's. I can't really find much to hate about any of these galaxies, but this one. It's a freaking water level, and unlike the uh, future water levels of this game, some, a couple select uh, future, you know, future water levels of this game, one of which is definitely, well actually, the only of which is in this dome, in this exact same dome, has the music that makes it so awesome. But you guys could probably already know what, which galaxy I'm talking about, but we're not going to give that away quite yet. The students are distracted by the sparklies. They are? Oh, it's, well, if I was swimming in a, in a giant bowl, beach bowl, I'm pretty sure I'd be distracted by things that sparkle, too. Of course, then again, I can't really swim, so it doesn't matter. But whatever. Um, yeah, forget trying to mess with the star point. Let's just try and go into the water and get those sparkly things we're talking about. Which, in this case, uh, we could probably tell by the shape that the... Um, the penguin described it was the um, piece, pieces of the uh, launch stars. So we're going to assume that that is the sunken treasure that the mission title is talking about. Um, so yeah, how has everybody been doing? Um, this is episode 12, and I believe it's going up on Friday. No, actually Saturday this week because I wasn't able to um, publish, you know, episode. 10 until Tuesday this week, so I'm just going to push everything a day back and have Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday be the upload days. Now, I apologize for not uploading every day, you know, this first couple weeks of games that Let's Play, but I think it's better if I start off, you know, kind of a little a little light, because, again, I still need to add these, I, I still have a vlog channel to maintain, you know, on top of, you know, getting this gaming channel back on track, so just keep in mind, I'm very busy, you know, on top of that, I'm also a college student, so... You know, that takes up a lot of time as well, but yeah. Come on. Let's uh, get these things. Yeah, it'd be really nice if I had some... I don't know, just the way my desk is set up in my college dorm, it's not really good for having a Wii. Because, you know, I just have to move it around and stuff. If I could just point straight from where I'm sitting, that'd be, that'd be good. But, yeah. We can't all have, have life easy now, can we? Alright, so this clam has our fourth uh, launch star piece, so we're going to grab that before he bites and kills us. Actually, I don't think he would kill you, but close enough. I think the last one is actually in front of an eel here. It's in a pretty scary location, but don't be intimidated by it. Yeah. That's easy to be intimidated by, but don't worry. Trust me, it's not going to hurt you as long as you get out of the way in time. Okay. Alright, we're fine. We are so fine. In fact, we're so fine that... We have discovered buried treasure. Actually, no, it's not really buried because it's, you know, it's in, out in the open water. And this launch star will trans 
teleport us to the upper part of the planet where we can get make our way to the star. So let's get these uh, question mark coin. And we get to play a theme. Yeah, that was not familiar at all. No, it was actually the, uh... Actually, I don't even know what that song was. I know it's from, like, a... It's either Mario World or Mario 3, actually. One of those two so One of those two games is where it's from. And... It's, now we got these switches that'll help us get it, make our way to the star, but that's not necessary. The second one's not necessary. It makes the uh, two walls appear right next to each other so you can wall jump up here, but that's not necessary. You can just do what I did. You get up here. And there's our star. Our first star. Of the Kitchen Dome and the Beach Ball Galaxy. So yeah, sorry if my commentary is not up to speed with what it was, like maybe, say back in May. But that's because I'm just, you know, starting out again after a long break, so I apologize about that. I mean, I had to, like, also, you know, talk to my, you know, um, you know, voice actors for this Let's Play again, you know, to remind them about this, so... I'm pretty sure, you know, they're still getting used to it again, so, yeah. Now, let me just say that... I am planning on doing a Let's Play of a Zelda game soon. I'm still not going give to away, give away what it is. But let's just say it's going to be a voice acting Let's Play. You know, just like this one where I have voice actors. It's going to have a lot more since it's a Zelda game. It's going to have a lot of characters. Um, be that as it may, I don't want to do more than one voice acting Let's Play at a time. So that means that whenever that Zelda Let's Play is coming, it's definitely not going to be until at least the selfie is done. I can definitely assure you that. Um, but yeah, I can, uh, I can definitely say there will be a Zelda game. Maybe not by the end of 2014, but there will be one in 2015 for sure for me. I can assure you guys of that. You know, assuming nothing happens again, just like, you know, before, where I go six months without doing Let's Plays. Alright, so, um, I can't quite, oh wait, wait, I think I remember now. Suck to the Penguin Coach first. You here to take the swimming school's final swim test? Yes, I am. I'm a, I am definitely a student, and not some random person that you just happen to find. And I don't know, because do I look like a student in your class? So why are you asking me if I'm here to take the final swimming test? Of course I am. I'm definitely someone you never met, and I am going to take this. In this test, you must collect shells in the ocean. If you bring me the golden shell, it's an automatic A for you. An automatic A for you, student who I've never taught at all, I've never seen before in my life. Yeah, let's let's go for that golden shell then, what do you say? Um, you'll quickly find that the penguins have already found it, and you can just steal it right from them by getting up close to this Alito penguin and shaking it like a madman and losing it entirely. You're not actually supposed to shake as soon as you have it, just letting you know, but it's just going to reappear in the in that penguin's flipper, so just grab it, there you go, and stop shaking once you have it, and then, once you have stolen victory from those people who rightfully, from those penguins that rightfully deserve it, you can take the shell to the coach penguin, that'll be it for this mission, it's a pretty short one, very easy, and yet pretty cheap. Amazing! I didn't think you'd actually be able to bring it back. Wow, way to set low expectations on somebody that you have just met. Well then, here's a big gold medal for you. Nice job on the test, but are you even one of my students? Oh shit, he's on to me. Bear him with the gold shell, grab the star wall before it's too late. Alright, and that is it for our second mission in Beach Bowl Galaxy, and since we we're only up to 10 minutes, I think we're, we got enough time to do a third mission, so let's get this, yeah, let's just finish off Beach Bowl. You know what? I'm totally happy with that. So, I think I remember what the third mission is, and it requires you going to a completely different area of the galaxy, but thankfully, there will be a way of getting to that other area. So, let's go to the secret under undersea cavern. 
Yep, just as I expected. We'll be going to this area, this infamous area. Yeah. Um. There's. I don't think I'm also. I also don't think I'm spoiling anything when I say that. Um. The comet for this for this galaxy will involve that planet. So I'm just not gonna say what it is. In fact, it's actually gonna be a comet that a type of prankster comet that we have not seen yet. So I'll just explain it once we get to it. Um, now I haven't really explained much about, you know, the underwater physics, so basically what you can, uh, what I can tell you is that the circle on the right to Mario is the amount of air he has, and you can actually replenish it either, A, by collecting coins, or simply running, swimming into these air bubbles, and that will instantly replenish all of it, so. The underwater physics in this game are really easy to get used to. Let's look at this penguin. If you look closely, um, I can see that from like five miles away. I don't have to look closely for that. Now they got a bunch. They've generously put a bunch of shells in here for you, so you can actually investigate this so-called crack by destroying it entirely. All right, this will take us to the secrets. That's not so secret undersea cavern, and we can. Whoa. Mysterious. And we got bats down here, of course. Hope, hope it's not a vampire bat. Oh no, oh no, better run, better run. Run for our lives. Oh, Goomba. How's a Goomba live that, however long it was in that crate anyways? Okay, I don't care. Let's just kill that bat and get a coin out of it. Okay. And then there's a not-so-secret, you know, passageway through here. And this will take us to a bat. As let's just yeah, let's just kill him by shaking him into him, and then we get star bits. And then we have our nice little wait. That'll take us to the other planet. I really don't know how to explain that. Okay, so here we are. People are not a big fan of this planet, and I'm not either. But it's not like the worst thing in this entire game. In fact, it's not really difficult. Oh, damn! That was pretty gruesome. We just, we didn't even kill the Goomba. We just let the Thwomp kill it for us. That's pretty gruesome. I mean, sure, there's no blood in these Mario games, but still, that was pretty gruesome that we just, you know, let the Thwomp have his way with that Goomba, you know, after all we did was shake into it, but whatever. Okay, so actually, I found, like, the perfect opportunity to record right now because, um, you know, today is Tuesday, the, uh, 4th of November, and um, today is the first day where one of my classes got cancelled on account of a uh, meeting that all the math teachers at the university had, so I had a unique opportunity to record my Let's Plays while my roommate is still in his classes. Oh god. That was really close. Yeah, let me just remind you that if you get crushed in this game, it's not like Mario 64 where you just take, you know, a few hits of damage. No! You actually go out, you actually die instantly in one hit if you get crushed by these things. So, that's what makes this planet so sucky and not so fun to go through, so... Yeah, I shouldn't have to remind anybody out there that this is definitely not the planet you want to, you know, fuck around on. I mean, mess around on, so... Actually, cuss there first. Okay. So, but yeah, there's these uh, box, top box things or whatever they're called that you can just find the opening of, and then you'll be safe when you're inside there. So let's not let the slump crush us. Okay. And that'll lead us right to our star. And that was an epic fail because I just bumped right into it and had to back up. Whatever. Alright, that is our third star, Beach Bowl Galaxy, and our third star of this mission, which means this is a good time to end off the episode. So, I am Multiclassic Gamer, signing out. I will see you guys next time, where we will possibly take on the Comet of Beach Bowl Galaxy, and then move on to the next galaxy from there. See you guys then. Multiclassic Gamer, signing out. See you guys later. Bye bye